Did you know that you can run Azure Stack HCI from a USB drive? <laughs> so, for everyone who doesn't know me like Barrett, I'm Flo Fox. I'm from the Fast Track team with a Microsoft. I am Barrett. <laughs> oh, you want to know more, right? Uh, I'm MVP from the Netherlands. I work in the Azure field, and I am always very curious to see uh, what the latest and greatest with Microsoft technology is. You never disappoint, my friend. D did you know? So our series is called "Did you know?" As you know, mm -hmm. um, that you can run Azure Stack HCI from US uh, from USB drive. You still remember those? Oh, where you installed your servers from? Yeah, of course, and uh, and you can localize your uh, your Windows 10 setup with a oh Windows yeah. 11 setup. You know that USB 3 uh, and uh, can uh, or starting with USB 3.0 can have uh, 10 gigabit per port. Yeah. On USB 3. And you know that uh, normal NVMe, you know these small drives, mm -hmm. starting with 2 to 3 to more gigabit. But you mean an NVMe in a thumb drive? Yes, of course. It's What's a thumb that? drive? No. And there's an NVMe. Do, do you think why, why I'm trying that? Because you need to swap data for your presentations really fast between your laptop and a thumb drive. Because I need to swap operating system really fast. So I'm swapping between production deployments for my customers, testing things mm -hmm. out. Maybe also swapping to Windows Server 2000 whatsoever to test things. And then there, there are the test builds for newer versions of HCI, which we are normally getting through engineering. And if I want to install that, on my systems every time, every time new. Mm -hmm. It just consumes a lot of cycles of my, of my day. So I thought there must be another solution. And then I remembered the good old days with Windows to go mm -hmm. or running your um, Hyper-V from a thumb drive or a SD card or whatsoever. And I said, okay, it's just a Windows. It's just a, a, a slimline Windows kernel, so it must work. Oh, oh it, it's an HCI OS. It's yeah. not Windows as we know it, my friend. Yeah, it's 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 Windows reduced to its core important infrastructure components. Okay, yeah, I can agree on that one. And so my my thought, it must work. Uh, let me share my screen for you for a while. Okay. And uh, now for full disclosure, while Flo is uh, sharing a screen. This is a test setup. I do not think one of us will say, yes, you should absolutely do this in your production environment tomorrow it's, morning, first thing. Yeah, it's totally unsupported, my friend. Yes, let, let, let's make that very, very clear. I'm using Rufus. Mm -hmm. I already have connected my thumb drive. As you can see, it can be smaller. So don't need to be a large one, but I had those NVMEs laying around. Mm -hmm. You download the Azure Stack HCI first, okay. which is free of charge. I uh, can put the link in the video description. You load that one. Mm -hmm. In Rufus, you're, you're selecting Windows to go. GPT now, Rufus uh, kind of sounds like an STD, but I guess it's it's an application to create bootable thumb drives, right? Right. And, and is that for free on the internet? It's free, of, it's uh... free of charge on the internet. Okay. So a few configurations. You can change the name label like HCI to go. Mm -hmm. NTFS, block size, quick format, don't apply labels. Don't check the, you should check the device with bad blocks. Mm -hmm. Start. If you want to uh, run it as a diagnostic tool, prevent that you cannot access the internal drives. Mm -hmm. If you want, want to really access drive builder cluster, then you should remove uh, that checkbox. All right. Now, how long is this going to take? It depends a bit on uh, on the device you have. So okay. when I'm doing that on my regular PC where I'm at in my office, it would take around 20 to 30 seconds. Here okay. it may take a bit longer. And that so, depends on the speed of your NVMe and the power on of this, your processor? 
die äh, Speed of the NVMe, die Power of the Processor, die Power of the uh, USB 3 Chip you have. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I already have the oh, yeah. same drive connected with right. And here you can see you can see the console. Yeah. And I hacked the password and yeah. there is the config. Nice. So again, we're yeah. doing unsupported things on unsupported hardware, but this is just to give you an idea what potentially can be done with these kinds of installations. Perfect. Back. Thank you so much for be, being welcome, on that one. Was our first was our first one. Hopefully everyone enjoyed. And feel free to subscribe and uh, leave us comments, thumbs up, you know, these social media YouTube thingies. <laughs> See you next time. See ya.